what's going on? It's Massive Joe's Raw Review, and I'm coming to you from MassiveJoe's.com. Awesome Raw Review for the viewers at home today. By popular demand, the people have requested this Raw Review, and the people's company has delivered. It is, of course, the all-new BPM Labs, the one, 2.0. Before we get straight into it, for those of you that are unaware, BPM Labs, US company, make products for the Australian market. It is actually an Australian-owned US producing company. So for the US viewers at home, I don't think this is available in the US at the moment, man. Just for Australia, and I think it's available in New Zealand too. Now, for those of you that are unaware, the background behind this product, the reason why it's the 2.0, is the original BPM Labs, the one, 1.0, or was just called the one back then, man, was taken, was, was ripped from the hands of the consumer in the Australian market, and from what I have been led to believe, it's because it contains methyl, Phenyl ethyl amine, which has since come under scrutiny by the Australian government, standard Australian government, stealing all our damn supplements. So BPM Labs had to reformulate, man. And this is the reformulated version, that's why it's called the 1 2.0. Let's get straight into it, show you guys exactly what's in it, tell you exactly what it's gonna do. That nutritional information panel ain't gonna get it done. We about to go balls deep. In this here BPM Labs the one 2.0 man, got ourselves a big ass nutritional information panel. Starting from the top. First thing to note, and actually I'll go to the label for this man. First thing to note, zoom and focus action please. One scoop, 13.5 grams, proprietary blend, 13.5 grams. I'm calling bullshit. Right from the start, you can't have a 13.5 gram prop blend in a 13.5 gram serving scoop if the product is artificially colored, artificially flavored, which this BPM Labs the one is, so I call bullshit on the prop blend, but anything, if it does anything, it just reinforces the fact that it is a prop blend and we don't actually know how much of each ingredient is in there. Let's move on. Starting from the top. Got ourselves carnison beta alanine, the best beta alanine we have seen thus far. We don't know how much, of course, because it's a prop blend, but from personal experience, man, there's a shitload of carnison beta alanine in this bitch because it makes you feel like your face is on fire. Moving right along. Creatine monohydrate for that muscle power, L-arginine malate for the nitric oxide production, creatine malate, different form of creatine for muscle power, more reps, more sets, help you stimulate more muscle growth, as too is the creatine ethyl ester. Then you, what the f is going on with this label, man? I actually didn't look at this before I started the raw review. Why are the creatines not to get, let me just make sure this is actually a printout of the label. Why are the creatines not together and the arginines not together and the stimulants not together? They're all over the place in this bitch. All right, give me two seconds. Let me just have a quick look at this nutrition information panel and let me see if I can group all the shit together and make this raw review flow a little bit better. All right, this is how we're gonna do it. So we've done the beta alanine already. Let me team that up with the niacin down here, which helps flush the skin, get nutrients into muscle cells, man. Beta alanine is gonna obviously block fatigue toxins, help you get more reps, more sets, help you stimulate more muscle growth. Niacin is also gonna flush the skin. That, plus that in combination to each other, is what's gonna give you the ants in your pants feel, man. The face burning feel, man. Then, We've got a bunch of different types of creatine, help gonna synthesize more adenosine triphosphate, help with muscle power, man. Creatine monohydrate, creatine malate, creatine ethyl ester. Then we've got a few different types of arginine for muscle pump. L-arginine malate, L-arginine alpha ketoglutarate, gonna help with nitric oxide production, help get muscle pump nutrient delivery. Then we can move on to our stimulants. So we're gonna start here, and we're gonna start with this pooch, 
Pochong tea extract, which is where, where amp citrate comes from naturally. So it yields amp citrate, aka 1,3-dimethylbutylamine, aka the new version of dimethylamylamine, the shit that was banned worldwide almost damn near two years ago, man. Very strong stimulant. Then we move on, we got caffeine anhydrous in there. Of course, you guys know what caffeine does once you get a stimulant. We got the cacao plant extract, which yields theobromine, which is a vasodilator and a stimulant once again. Then we're gonna skip down to the next stimulant, which is the Nandina domestica fruit extract, which yields hygienamine. For those of you that, is un that are unaware, hygienamine is a stimulant in the heart and a relaxant in the respiratory system. So gonna help you get more oxygen, help your heart get stimulated. Get a damn near turbocharge, you shit! Moving right along, we got thiamine in there, which is not a stimulant, it's a B vitamin, but gonna work in conjunction with the stimulants, make you feel real nice. Got your bitter orange pill extract in this bitch, which yields cinephrine, once again, a very strong stimulant. And then finally, to round off, you got the naringin, which is a grapefruit extract, which actually increases the amount that stimulants, and in particular caffeine, have hang around in your system and stops them breaking down, stops them being metabolized so that it increases the longevity of caffeine in your system. And that's what in it. In terms of how it tastes, how it mixes, comes in two flavors, comes in watermelon, comes in my personal favorite, the pineapple. Got myself a brand spanking new tub of BPM Labs, the 1.2.0 here, man. In the pineapple flavor, as you can see there on the top of the tub. I'm gonna bust this bitch, it's already been busted open. I'm gonna, gonna open this bitch. The first thing to note, man, scoop is on top. And thankfully, the tub is damn near full to the cream. In fact, the tub is so damn full, when we first opened this bitch and bro punched the bitch in, couldn't actually bro punch the bitch in, went to go bro punch the bitch, actually hit the top of the powder, the, 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 the bitch did not collapse on the inside, had to peel the bitch off, conventional style man. So those are the first two good things to know. Tub is full, scoop is on the top. Let me take myself a scoop of this here BPM Labs, the one, 13.5 gram scoop. Got myself a glass with a spoon. Gonna throw that bitch in that bitch and let it rain, let it rain. Let me get a few flicks of the wrist in here, man. Show you guys how this mixes. Spill my shit all over there. Spill my shit again! I damn it, the fellas filled the glass up too much this time. They're getting better because at least this time they gave me a nice glass and a damn teaspoon without the tablespoon, but the mother is filled the shit right to the brim, got my shit all over my shit down here. Anyway, in terms of how it mixes, you can see, man, a few flicks of the wrist with a spoon in the glass, man, the shit mixes damn near perfectly. So I would go so far as to say blender ball is not required. For this here, BPM Labs, the one 2.0, man, in terms of how it tastes, man. Ooh, smells delicious. Tastes like shit. <laughs> Gotta be one of the most deceiving supplements we have seen thus far because it smells like it, sm it smells awesome. And I remember the first time I took this pre workout, man, I mixed this shit up. My team, Massive Joe Shaker, with my little additions, of course, the Purest Labs and Oxygen, a bit of creation supplements, Alka Pure in that bitch. Shook it up, popped open the lid, and. and and it smell, it smells awesome, it smells awesome, it smells awesome right now, man. We gotta get smell of vision in this bitch so you guys can smell that. It smells awesome. And then I tasted it and I went, what the fuck is going on here, man? It does not taste anything like it smells. So the pineapple is horrible, the watermelon is just as horrible. Does not go, does not rank very highly in terms of taste, but if you could sniff the shit, man, <laughs> honestly, probably be one of the nicest smelling pre-workout supplements we have seen thus far in terms of the effects. Cause that's what you're taking this here, the one 2.0 for, man. Let me start off. Before I tell you about my personal experience, I so far have used this shit four times already, man. Let me tell you about my personal experience. Before I tell 
Joe? <sighs> the one thing this product is missing quite clearly is something to help with mental focus. Because <laughs> I'm having trouble in this raw review, man. Before I tell you about my personal experience, let me just say, based on this here, nutritional information panel, quite clear, there's a bunch of different types of creatine in this bitch. There's beta alanine in this bitch. There's some arginine in there, which has been shown really to not do much for nitric oxide production. Definitely nowhere near as much as agmatine sulfate, but it's gonna do a little bit. Nothing really in there for mental focus that we can see. So based on that nutritional information panel and keeping in mind that there are so many different damn stimulants in there, man. Caffeine, amp citrate, theobromine, cinephrine, and then the narogen to increase the amount that caffeine stays in your system. You know just based on the nutritional information panel that it's gonna help you train harder for longer. It's gonna help you get more reps, more sets with the creatine in that bitch. You're gonna get a little bit of muscle pump, but nothing crazy. And you're gonna be stimmed off your tits. That's pretty much what you're expecting from this here BPM Labs The One. Now, onto my personal experience with this BPM Labs The One 2.0. Through myself, one scoop. It says on here to start with half a scoop. We are not here to spiders viewers at home so we all went straight to one scoop i went straight to one scoop myself threw my one scoop in that bitch drank that bitch neck minute this is pretty much what happened to me drank it as i'm on my way to the gym driving to the gym sipping on my bpm labs the one neck minute that's pretty much it man that was my experience, and to, to elaborate a little bit, just instead of just using the, 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 the mannerisms to describe to you what happened with the BPM Labs of 1 2.0, man. Actually went, the first workout I did in it, went and trained chess. I was training chess with Team Massive Joe's media manager, Dillip, AKA the specialist. Did not actually realize I was training with Dillip until the damn workout was over. <laughs> I thought, what the f is this guy doing following me around the gym man turns out we were training together i was just so off my head in the gym that i thought i was training by myself man that's pretty much it the it's if you if you are looking for a pre-workout supplement that in terms of stimulants is just gonna make your fucking head explode literally gonna take one scoop of the shit and that's what you're looking for. The BPM Labs 2.0, man, is definitely gonna get it done. It's right up there with some of the strongest pre-workout supplements we have seen since the ban of dimethylamylamine, man. That is really what it's gonna do. In terms of the mental focus side of things, there's nothing in there that's gonna increase mental focus. So if, you, if you're looking for something to help out with a bit of mental focus, you gotta stack it with some acetylocarnitine, some creation supplements, Alcapure, man. There's nothing in there that's gonna help particularly with muscle pump. The arginine, let's be honest guys, the arginine is gonna do sweet fuck all for muscle pump nitric oxide production. So you gotta stack it with agmatine, you gotta stack it with some glycerol, some purist labs and oxygen stacks really well with it, man. You gotta add those things if you want it to be a complete pre-work. But in terms of just stimulant, just mind blowing, blow your fucking socks off pre workout supplement, man. The BPM Labs, the 1 2.0, is gonna get it done. Guys, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Raw Review. And guys, that is Massive Joe's Raw Review on the all new BPM Labs, the 1 2.0. And I'm coming to ya from massivejoes.com. Stay